What's up everybody? This is DJ Alberto and I'm on Huntington University. This is rooted in in-depth conversation with interesting people and interesting topics that matter to the Forrest family. You can find us on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. Hello everybody. This is for the Forrest Radio. DJ Roberto here. I'm here with Lindsay from HU and she graduated early this like so last semester. And so I figured I'd bring her in here to ask her some questions about why she left. And so the first question, what was your positive, the positives that you liked about it? Oh yeah, positive experiences at HU. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is definitely the people that I met at HU. Um, I had really good friendships that I built here. Um, I, the main reasons I came to college were to grow as a person and to like build relationships and grow spiritually. And all of those things happened for sure at HU. Um, I made like some of the best friends of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm on this interview because we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I mean her good friends. I met her at a movie, and that's another story for another day. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's, that story will heavily be taken out of context if I were to tell it on here right now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, movie on the lawn, SAV event. That was, yep. that was a good time. Um, so yeah, the friendships that I made here, really good experiences. Um, some of the, my classes have been incredible. Um, Some of my favorite professors, Shoshana, definitely, Uh, Dr. Bab, incredible. Um, Yeah, there are a lot of really good classes that I grew and learned a lot from. All right, mate. So I got a couple more questions for you here. Mm -hmm. And so when you got here, what was your brain? Were you you more overload? And were you kind of scared? Were you like, oh, man, what am I getting myself into here? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Um, I think I was probably a lot less nervous than other first time college students were just because I was already pretty accustomed to being on HU's campus like I didn't really know my way around or know the building super well yet Mm -hmm. but I did um I did know the science hall my dad works at HU so that helped a lot yeah um I I mean my family would come and take walks on like the sidewalks and everything so that wasn't new to me okay yeah so Um, you knew some of the layout um, a little bit. My sense of direction is terrible, so definitely not a lot of it. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, just, like, coming to HU as a school wasn't really terrifying to me at all. Like, I was really excited more than anything. Um, if I was nervous about anything, though, it probably would have been the social aspect, just because I was going to meet a lot of new people. Yeah. But, I mean, you also have to take into consideration that I came in 2020, so I was also coming out of quarantine and mm. moving onto campus, so, also, I mean, that helped the nerves, too, just because I was so excited to see people again and, like, to be with friends and get kind of a fresh start from high school. Um, but, yeah, I think I was nervous about having a roommate because I didn't know how that was going to be. I didn't know what the relationship would be like. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. overall, lots of a lot of feelings of excitement and then probably just a little bit of nerves about the social and roommate situation. Yeah. Oh, it's a roommate situation. Do you guys, do you guys hit it off pretty good? Because I know some friends are like, man, my roommate absolutely was horrible. Sucked. <laughs> First day, like, I don't want him in my room anymore. He stank really bad. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, I did not have a bad roommate situation. Um, Well, the roommate I had freshman year... Like, the first one, she actually dropped out after the first semester because she realized that college was not her thing. She actually went back home and opened a business, so Mm. that was really amazing for her. Yeah. Um, But we, like, got along well. Um, She's super sweet, super nice. We would have really good conversations sometimes. But we also didn't have very much in common. Like, our personalities were very different, so sometimes it was awkward because I didn't really know how to interact with her. Um, So that was the only thing that was kind of weird. Like, she was a cheerleader, and she was really into fashion, and I'm more of a nerd type, so that Mm -hmm. was, yeah, it was very different for me. I didn't, (laughs) but then also, like, I learned a lot from that. Like, it was definitely a God thing, and sometimes we would talk, like, about our families, because we both came from big families, and we would also talk about our faith, so those were really good connection points. That's cool, mate. So you were scared mostly of the social part? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah, just because it was new. Oh, yeah. But this week of the news things, I don't know, this week, I had a radio shift, and it was like, oh man, it's a lot. And so, mm-hmm. I actually meant to hit enter on a button, and I, and on the news thing, and I 
and I misunderstood what Monty was going to say, and I ended up clicking the thing twice. Oh, uh, and no. ended, ended up scrolling down instead of clicking the thing twice. Yeah. And I ended up in the noon o'clock show. <laughs> and I guess at one point, my headpiece inside there hit the panic switch, and we ended up having to reset the computer, and that's why we went off the air for a minute and a half. So, have you ever felt like when you got here, people are plastic or fake, like an outsider? Mm. Um, when I first got here, no. Not at all. Um, my high school social experience was kind of awful, honestly. So, when I first got here, it was the first time that I really found people that I connected with and felt like I had, like, deeper things in common with. Um, like, I didn't have people, a lot of people in high school that I would spend time with outside of school or have, like, deep conversations with. Mm -hmm. um, so when I first got to college, I had a really awesome friend group, and I had my first boyfriend, and it was a great relationship. I still stand by that. It just wasn't the right one. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, I had a lot of really good social experiences right out the bat, and I was still very much, like, in the headspace where I felt like I belonged and I felt like I clicked, and this was, like, the right space for me. I think... As I, as I grew more and matured more over my time at college and I got to know myself better and I started working through some more things with God at HU, that's when I started to feel less like I belonged. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would say the longer I stayed at HU, the more that I saw some things that I, um, I don't know how to describe it. Like... I guess as you get to know people better, right? Yeah. Like, at first it's like the honeymoon phase, and then things get harder and more complicated as time goes on. Yep. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute, maybe we don't click as well as I thought we did. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was definitely amazing at first, and I think it got harder as time went on. But yeah. So I don't really feel like I belong at HU anymore. Yeah. Um, but that's also okay, because that just means, like, it's time for a new season. And I do still have some friends that, like... I'm hoping to have for the rest of my life that I met at HU. Oh, same. First few weeks is hard. You, you know, I got put in Miller, mm -hmm. and they already had their group, groups and cliques with the juniors and seniors, and I was the only freshman at the time there. Mm -hmm. and then, I know this year recently they ran out of space for the freshmen to go mm -hmm. for break and right, so they're like, put them in Miller. So I was the only freshman at the time, and so it was, like, very lonely for me, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find anybody for, like, first few weeks it's kind of just like I still held up in my room I think occasionally you came by oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh-huh and so I was a very lonely kind of very sad and then and then I started hanging out with you more and then I found right there the guys on there were like super cool and I'm like hey these guys are my type of guys yeah totally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Miller was not the best fit for a freshman <laughs> <laughs> all right mate so for the second one I put on there what did you not like about your experience in what would you do to change if you wanted if you had to do it again and time travel back in time and change it again? Oh yeah. Um I think I never really fit well into a single major. So if I had known about the customized academic program option sooner, I would have started with that right out the gate. That would have been really convenient for me. It would have uh, been perfect. So I would have come in with that as my major and then picked and chosen my classes based on that. So that's what I would have changed. See, I didn't know about that. And it was interesting because they just told me that about that this year. And I'm like, why don't you guys advertise that? They did not want you to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be the reason. But I think that would have helped me a lot personally. And I, since I didn't graduate early, I just had to leave early for medical reasons and also just personal reasons. I think I might have actually been able to graduate if I had known about the customized academic program sooner. So that would have helped me a lot that with actually be, getting a degree. That would have been fantastic because my from a radio one this year, mm -hmm. I, the professor Professor Ryan told me about that, and mm -hmm. I said I could I could do that. That's really neat. I might consider doing that, and so I might try that. For the next question, how could you? How could they change the way they do things? I know some people. Some people come here and they're like. It's all right, or they just leave and just don't like it, and they just love it, or they're like, "Oh my gosh, mom, I want to go to HU. I'm I'm so excited for Jesus and whatever." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of people who come to HU are very similar types of people um, because it's a small private Christian college, but it's not always the same type of person that comes here. 
And I think if HU really and the staff here really wants to be a light and welcoming and full of grace and patience, like they want to embody that really well. I think they just need to make it a very open and relaxed and make people who don't fit the norm of what they kind of expect their students to be like, just make those people feel like it's okay to just be here and be where they're at right now in life and not feel like they have to fit a certain mold to fit in. Um, I think a lot of people feel like, oh, well, if I'm not this, if I'm not thinking this certain way or dressing this certain way or participating in these types of activities, then I'm an outsider or people aren't going to connect with me and people aren't going to like me and people aren't going to respect me or take me seriously here. And that makes a lot of people feel alienated. And so I think that a lot of people at HU could do a better job of holding space for those people. Oh, yeah. But overall, like the best friends you met here, they helped you get through these, through the hard times and things like that. Like the best friends you met here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're the people who just welcome you with open arms and just get to know you as a person where you're at and love you exactly where you are and don't expect you or pressure you to be anyone that you're not or be thinking or feeling any way that you aren't currently but they still, like, encourage you to grow, and they're going to support you in your growth. I love that. It's just, it's just the amount of people here that most people that go here have similar backgrounds, if I've noticed. And so mm -hmm. it's like, oh, yeah, um, we're all the same. We don't want to be drones. I don't like drones. Just be ourselves, really. Don't put on this face, fake mask thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we could learn a lot and grow a lot by inviting conversation and allowing differences of opinions and perspectives and yeah just inviting that and not feeling threatened by it i love that then we could have conversations flow more easier yeah but yeah that's mate that's everybody that's it for this interview i hope you everybody had a good time listening to that good times with Lindsay Skiles. Right, thanks for bringing me on this is a good conversation yeah mate well everybody that's it that's over thanks audience for listening to rooted and everybody, remember, if you want to find us, go to iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. That's a good podcast, good rap, and I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, you can listen to us on 105.5 WQHQ, or you can stream anytime, anywhere on Forrester Radio. And remember, don't forget everybody to stay rooted.